Hello! Monday Eric is back with another episode of BS and Architecture Weekly. And a beard. Well, yeah, growing it out. Ugh, not this again. Okay, let's focus. Okay, but before you do remember, I gotta leave. I'm recording this before work so I can upload today, so... Yes, we know. We all have the same script this time. Cool. Bye. Adios. Now on with our topic. Today our topic is architecture theory. What is that, you ask? Architecture theory is the act of thinking, discussing, and writing about architecture. There are many design philosophies that define architecture theory. But for the purposes of this video, it's just a fancy term for all the BS you come up with and all those pesky critics start asking you questions about your design project. Oh, why'd you choose this material? Uh, why'd you separate these spaces? Uh, why are you taking this class? Shush! Architecture theory is a very complex subject matter that many architects spend their whole lives trying to work out. Yeah, and this is the internet, where 10 minutes might as well be a whole lifetime. And don't you remember our first theory class? I really don't want to. Too bad, because we still have the book. Oh no. Come on Monday, whip it out. <sighs> So our first theory class was about four years ago. Really? God, it seems like decades. And this was our textbook. Take it away Monday. <sighs> Theoretical anxiety and sign strategies in the works of eight contemporary architects by Raphael Moneo. Gee, Raphael, think you could shorten the title just a little bit? <coughs> there, now that's a title that perfectly captures the essence of this book. Yeah. Basically what this book is about is eight different architects who got past the dreaded blank page syndrome by making shit up. <laughs> now look at the back. Now you know this guy's thinking like an architect. What if I take the summary and turn it on its side like this? Now surely this is a bold choice because it offers a whole different perspective. Now imagine you're in a bookstore and you see people taking out books to read the summary like this. But what if you see a person pull out a book and read the summary like this. You may be thinking, that's a weird person. But no, actually, it's a weird book. Let's jump right in. Hooray! And the first thing you'll notice is there are no page numbers. So class, turn to page text. Wait, what's that in the middle of the binding? Oh yeah, the page numbers. Who does that? Well, you know you're off to a good start when the page numbers are literally hiding from you. And the second thing you'll notice is that some of the pictures are really small. Look at this. That's, that's about the size of my finger. What is this? A picture for ants? Actually, it's the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good and want to learn how to do other stuff good too. Like architecture. Irony. But seriously, when reading this book, I mean, un unless you're some kind of architectural design theory specialist, is that even a thing? None of it makes any sense. It's in English, but reads like a foreign language. Yeah, the language of... <laughs> you're just not cultured enough to understand. <coughs> Here's an example. Okay, I'm gonna read this much, and we'll see how long it takes to get through this, believe me. The sophisticated wall that seems to be the ultimate object of the project is born of the architect's explicit desire to solve all problems in one stroke. The construction thus acquires a degree of generality that makes it something abstract, not specific. Let us pay attention to a singular detail, the corner. Herzog and Demiron do not waver. The corner does not give rise to reflections on how a solid is built. For them, it is clear that the corner is simply the encounter of two different planes. So the two walls meet, and a beautiful, unexpected detail appears. No, yeah, it's just a scaled model. Oh, was I watching C-SPAN again? No, we were just reading about the corner of a warehouse building. Go back to sleep. This was our first theory class, people. I don't even know what else we could say about it. Then don't. Let's just call it a week. Sounds good to me. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? We can introduce viewers to the language of architecture just a little bit at a time. 
Yeah, with our new segment. You mean BS Word of the Week? BS Word of the Week. That could work. Great. When should we film the first episode? I'm filming it right now. Hello and welcome to BS and Architecture. Okay. Anything else to say to viewers? Stay tuned for more BS Words of the Week in addition to our regular episodes. Hey, uh, Tuesday, I was looking at our schedule and can you tell me something? Uh, yeah, what is it? Are we completely out of our fucking mind? Yes, we am, Monday. Yes, we am. <laughs> Tuesday Eric here filling in for Sunday Eric reminding you to like and subscribe you know the drill <laughs>